This is one of our treasured paintings in the collection. And it is going to go on loan to a museum in Philadelphia. Instead of tucking it away behind closed doors and having me do the work in our normal conservation lab, we decided to do it on view to show people the work it takes to have a collection like this. So one of the things that Van Gogh is so famous for is the use of color, but also texture. So what you see on the surface, for example, these are individual brush strokes, and he loaded the brush with a lot of paint and just placed the paint in one area. And that leaves this texture of brush strokes in the paint. This painting has been cleaned and restored uh, in the 70s. And sadly, what they did at that point, they did what was the most current treatments, and that was a wax lining a new canvas adhered to the back of the original canvas. And they used a wax resin mixture. In order to adhere it, they used a hot iron and melted the wax from the back. And at that time, the wax was clear and you couldn't really see it. But over the last 26 years, uh, the wax has turned milky and it obscures the intended color scheme as well as gloss. Once I'm done cleaning, the, the color palette of the, the painting will be much brighter and the gloss will alter throughout the painting, giving the painting more, a uh, more vibrant appearance. So what I'm doing is I'm softening the, the wax that pulled up from the lining with the solvent. And then I'm going in and picking out the wax with a wooden stick and the solvents that we're using, they do not affect the paint layer at all. They're targeted for, for the wax only and the varnish. So that process will be repeated over and over again until all the wax is gone. It will be more true to what he intended with the painting once I'm done.